What? Right. <laughs> Are you ready? Don't be ready. Don't be nervous. Like it's fine. It's good. It's okay. I'm gonna hold on. Make sure you're set to go. Testing, testing. Quiet on the set, people. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Don't you didn't want to light the show up. No. Look, don't be. Just imagine we're not here. I know, but like. Because Gary had to do the same thing. Me and Felicia was tiptoeing around. They the was kitchen. cooking in the background, dropping stuff. It was crazy. I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like our All right. Her. Thank you, Kamadi, for saying yes. Everybody that I asked yeah. so far, they said yes. Um, so. This is called Who Am I? It's a black and white series. It's for you to get to know yourself better as well as for me to get to know you more. So, we're gonna get into it. Easy questions. Okay. It's not hard. So, the first question Who are you? I am. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. Who Oh, you're asking for my name? Yeah. It's a, it's oh, sorry. All of these questions is literally whatever comes to mind. Who are you? You can say your name. You can say this, that, whatever. Whatever oh. your response is, that's what it is. Okay. So, who are you? I am an inspiring model and an aspiring radiology technician. Ooh. You say radiology technician? Mm-hmm. What, what does radiology technicians do? Things like x-rays or ultrasounds. Like, I want to work in an ultrasound unit, so. Oh, that's fine. Okay, okay. All right. Next question. Did you accomplish any of your goals so far? If so, what was it? I accomplished graduating high school and getting into um, college to study. Yeah. The, the radiology? Yeah. Thing? Gotcha. Okay. That's what's up. That's good. All right. Who... Or what was your inspiration growing up? My one of my inspirations actually is my cousin Alicia. When she graduated college, um, that that's someone I looked up to for a long time. And I also looked up to my mother, Desiree Mitchell, who is also was a model and she's accomplished so much. She's came far from just being a teenager living by herself to Raising me and becoming me becoming the um, good student I am. So yeah. Okay. Shout out to Des. Shout out to Des. Okay. Next question. If you could be famous for something, what would you want to be famous for? Modeling. Modeling. <laughs> okay. Okay. How tall are you? Five eight or nine. Five eight or nine. So I that's think. like. The model, I think you, what is it? Standard is, is it 5'8 or is it like 5? Okay. All right, so she, she hit that number, y'all. All right. Okay. Okay, next question. If you had to recommend an anime show or film to someone such as myself, what would it be? Naruto. That's oh. my first anime. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yep. Is it better than Dragon Ball Z, though? No, 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 it's it's not. I think Dragon Ball Z is is up there though. Like, yeah, I think Naruto's up there with Dragon Ball Z, but yeah, I think Dragon Ball Z is better. A lot of people like Naruto. I never really watched it, but everybody always tell me I'm crazy for not watching it because it was like one of those top shows. It was. It's really good. Just don't watch Boruto. Boruto is not that good. Boruto? Yeah, <laughs> that's after Naruto. Oh, so, gosh. Yeah. Okay, okay. I gotta look that up. Okay. Next question. What is Michael B. Jordan's real name? Michael. <laughs> I have no clue. It's Michael B. Jordan. Oh. <laughs> it was a trick question, but you got it, Michael. What do you do for fun? For fun, I like going to the mall and looking at... Bar Bath and Body Works, looking in frequencies and stuff like that. I also like playing volleyball, and I like playing softball as well. And, yeah. Okay. So you ever played on a team before, like a volleyball team? Yeah, I played for my high school my last two years, and I also played softball my senior year. Oh, gotcha. 
hell. As far as volleyball goes, this is off these questions, but is there like positions you play that you choose or no? I was mostly a libero, which means like I was in the middle back. That was my favorite position. I also was in the front. I was a setter. You was a setter? Mm -hmm. Gosh, so that's the people person that actually throws the ball up and mm -hmm. gotcha. Okay. All right, that's what's up. Do you love school? Uh, I like what I'm going to school for, but as far as like being in class and like going to school, not really. Okay. Yeah, my daughter said the same. <laughs> she said her favorite part about it was her friends. So I'm like, all right, cool. Next question. How did you overcome one of your most difficult situations in life? In life? I think one of my most, it might have something to do with school, is that okay? Yeah, it's whatever, whatever your most difficult situation in life, you can, anything, how did you overcome it? Well, it was coming close to the end of high school, which is why um, this is probably one of my goals that I mentioned, that I like, that I accomplished, was because there was a lot of packages I still need to do because we didn't know I was supposed to take a certain class for um, seniors. It was called a senior portfolio and they didn't give it to me. So they kind of threw it at me at the end, like in May and we we're graduating in June. So I had to finish all five of those units, which kind of stressed me out a lot. Like I didn't think I was going to be able to do it like on time. But what motivated me to finish was actually my boyfriend that I have. He kind of... I was breaking down. He was um, be, he was there to kind of soothe me, and he was telling me I could do it, I could do it, don't give up. So what I did was I, no matter what, like after work, during work, I was just knocking it out and um, just pushing myself. That's what I did. I would just push myself to do better and um, get stuff done, and that's exactly what I did. So I would just say I pushed myself. Push yourself. Yeah, no, that's good. Okay. Next question. What do you value most in life and why? My family. I value my family the most in life because they're always going to be there for you and you can't really get rid of them. But <laughs> you grow to love them, I guess. No, no, that's, again, <laughs> that's one of my most biggest values as well. As family, yeah. So. Like anything, anything would um sorry what was i trying to say my cousins are o always on, on <laughs> <laughs> my family my family's always going to be over everything mm -hmm. regardless that. yeah <laughs> foe family over everything you hear me <laughs> all right next uh okay this is a good question i like what's some advice you would give a preteen some advice I'll give a preteen is one thing I learned, watch who you hang around with. Do not fall into um, peer pressure or anything. Be yourself. Being yourself is cooler than doing what other people are doing, to be honest. So watch who you hang around with. Mm-hmm. That's the biggest thing. Like Put yourself around. Uh, good job, Alicia. <laughs> All right, cool, that's cool. Next question. What is your favorite song or artist of all time? Michael Jackson. It's my favorite artist Jeez. of all time. <laughs> Michael Jackson, MJ. Everybody loves Mike. Mm -hmm. And if I have a favorite song, it'll probably be I'll Be There from the Jackson 5. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so these next questions are either or. So you, I'm going to literally say... This or that, and you just choose, okay? Okay. Fame or money? Money. Hip hop or R&B? R&B. New car or all expenses paid vacation? All expenses paid vacation. Okay, okay. We all need a vacation. Middle school or high school? Uh, high school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, 
black cover or Naruto? Naruto. <laughs> Wait, what did I mean? <laughs> I don't... Leisha? Huh? What is black cover? <laughs> oh, black clover. So you put... You put cover. Did I? Yes. My bad. I oh my goodness, black <laughs> so, clover. So we're gonna do that over black black clover. You said? Yeah. Black clover or Naruto? <laughs> I don't know what? what that is. I ain't know what it was. <laughs> right. Black clover or Naruto? Black clover. Okay. Clover. Why? I'm gonna ask why for that one. I don't. Know. I I just really like that show recently. I'm still in the middle watching it, but so far it's been amazing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's under it's underrated. I think that's why too. Black like. Clover. Yeah. Okay. Uh, birthday or Christmas? Christmas. Music or movies? Movies. Scissor or Summer Walker? <laughs> Scissor. That was a good question. <laughs> that was. That right. was good. 2000s or 2010s? 2000s. 2000s? Okay. What's your favorite color? Purple. And this is the last question that I ask everyone, and I have to get why. So, loyalty or respect, and why? Loyalty or respect, and I want to know why. I feel like respect because <sighs> that's a good question. <laughs> but I would probably pick respect because respect, I feel like. Loyalty does fall fall under respect as well, but so does many other words too, like kindness, manners, um, uh, No, you did good. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I'm going to say this, um, I choose respect as well because the best, what the best way to look at it, in my opinion, is if you go to the store and you're walking through the door, just you holding the door for the person behind you that you don't even know, that's respect. Mm -hmm. You're not loyal to them at all. You don't know who they are, but the fact that you gave that little respect to them, that says a lot, and all of us should get that. Right. We should get that respect, so that, that's a great response that you gave. Right. Okay. A few more questions. Who is the one person you can call to cheer you up when you're feeling down? My mom. <laughs> oh, okay. She, every, any, any, with anything, to be honest, she just, even when we're arguing, she'll just cheer me up somehow by making me laugh. <laughs> She's a jokester, too. <laughs> yeah. She's a jokester. Okay. Cool. I like that. All right. We got four more questions. Mm -hmm. I just won a lottery. I got $100 million, and I said I'm going to give you $2 million. What's the first thing you're going to do with that? I want to help my grandmother. She's getting some of that. My mom. And let's see. Probably going on Sheen, too, and getting me some clothes. <laughs> Turn up. Get you some stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, I like that. The first thing you said, like you said, you're going to help out the fam, your mom, your grandma. That's dope. Do you feel like you're making an impact to this world? I feel like to a certain extent, yeah. Like even, <laughs> I don't know, like when I was in school and I was actually a team captain for my volleyball team, I feel like I kind of opened some of their eyes in a way because the, their mindset at first, was like, I don't know, it was always arguments and just stupid stuff. We wasn't focused on the game, you know, or on our team. And I kind of was pushed away to um, give people words of inspiration, <laughs> like our team words of inspiration so that we could get our heads back in the game and as a team. And then I guess after we did play our very last game together, some of them actually came and hugged me and they thanked me for a lot of things that I've done around the team, which I didn't really realize, to be honest. And also my boyfriend, he actually 
thanks me a lot because he said I've motivated him to do so much and to do better for himself. So I guess in some way making an impact. That's what's up. You are. Everything you just stated, that, that's an indication that you're making an impact. Two more questions. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. no, no, no. One more question. Yeah, last question. Why are you doing this interview? To get to know myself. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for doing this interview. Um, after every interview, I like to tell people things that, you know, the people that I ask, such as yourself, I'm going to tell you why I asked you to do it. And that question I said, uh, do you feel like you're making an impact to this world? So you made an impact to my world because of my daughter. That connection with you and my child is big because she looks at you as a big sister when she first met you. She looked up to you. The guidance that you give, even with this video, I'm sure she's going to watch it over and over again. We can go all the way back to the ice cream challenge when y'all did that. She's so <laughs> excited. So that was a big deal to me um, and my heart and my spirit. And I just enjoyed that. So I just want to say thank you for being an impact to my world by making my daughter shine and be happy and look up to somebody because she don't have no brothers or sister or anything to look up to. But she saw you and she really gravitated towards you. So with that being said, after every interview, I get a little gift for somebody, for everybody, <laughs> and so a little something, something for you. Mm -hmm. You can just open that uh, in there. One of the pieces is from her and then the other. It's a gift card. Happy early. And I, I know your birthday passed and Ooh. Christmas is coming up, so got you that. That is and so got cute. A gift card where you can get you a, a black clover or clover, whatever I say. <laughs> get you a t-shirt or something. And enjoy that. So thank you. Thank you. Let me get a hug. I appreciate it. This means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you did you. good. <laughs> it's a wrap, y'all. It's a wrap. Thank you. Woo! You disturbed half the video.